Well, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. Um, I am Yori Folari. So, first of all, it's Good Friday, so I guess we should start off by saying, you know, Happy Easter. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we can also say, uh, you could say Kongwe. Mm. Benny. 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 Mm. You, you get me? Yes, mm. uh, <laughs> I greeted people for the fasting in there. Um, they indeed are families that are observing both. You know, that is the truth of the yeah, matter. Of we, there's the sense in which we talk about all being one. There are families where the husband is a Christian, the yeah, wife is the a Muslim, Muslim, or the yeah. other way around. Yeah. Uh, so um, it, it is uh, one Nigeria and yes. one country, um, and um, we can live together in our diversity. Um, part of which very remotely relates to what we're going to talk about today, and that's the shocking news out of um, Imo State. <laughs> that, um, mm. The continuous uh, voter registration, registration exercise of INEC yeah. has had to be uh, suspended following the killing in uh, uh, a local government area, Nkwa Ihite. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that exactly right, yeah. but you get the uh, meaning. Um, well, it, the internet is full. Yes. Who did this? Uh, but in any case, we don't know the details apart from the broad outlines of the news mm -hmm. and the consequence of all of this that um, INEC has had to suspend. Let me quickly uh, introduce my guests. We will be speaking on Zoom uh, with Mr. Festus Okwe, INEC National uh, Commissioner Information and Education. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Festus Okwe. Yeah, uh, good morning. Thank you very much for making time for us this morning. And uh, we also have Dr. Olabisi Deji Volutile, uh, journalist and editor-in-chief at franktalknow.com. Uh, as always, it's a delight to have you, Labisi. And uh, Mr. Chris Paul Otaibe, journalist and uh, social commentator. Uh, and thank you very much for making time for us. Glad to be here. Indeed. Uh, our pleasure. Now, uh, le le let me go to Mr. Festus Okoye, INEC National Commissioner, Information and Voter Education. Um, the local government concerned is a uh, Inkwa Ihite, I've apologized if uh, I'm not exactly getting mm. that right, but uh, people understand that Inkwa Ihite is a local government area of Imo State, and that's where, unfortunately, an INEC staff was killed um, as they were going about their jobs. Um, so, can I ask you, Mr. Okwe, what exactly uh, do you know, does INEC know, uh, about this situation, apart from the fact, who, who, who is behind this? Who, who are the authors of this dastardly act? Well, uh, we, we cannot say for sure um, uh, who and uh, who um, is behind this particular incident. Uh, all we know is that um, uh, we deployed um, our staff to go and continue with the continuous voters registration exercise uh, in four uh, additional areas, uh, in, in, in 54 additional areas in Imo State. Uh, because as uh, we pointed out, uh, we are carrying this uh, continuous voter registration exercise in all the registration areas or wars on a rotational basis. And we have 54 rotational uh, centers um, in, in Imo State. And this particular incident happened in, in Hitubuoma, a uh, local government area of, um, of Imo State, uh, more precisely in Amako Amak Yawa. Oh, so never mind all uh, that, uh, my uh, own efforts. Thank you very much, sir. Please yeah. continue. Uh, um, and uh, that was as at yesterday. And we lost one of our staff uh, by name, Mokuri Anthony, uh, in the incident. Now, uh, uh, today, we have um, received additional information of threats to our staff in a human Bano uh, local government area of uh, Imo State. Uh, so based on that, we have suspended uh, further um, uh, continuous voters registration exercise in these 50, 54 uh, uh, centers. Uh, what we are now doing and what we are going to do henceforth is to move all the uh, uh, CVR uh, to our state and local government offices in all these states. But for Osu local government, uh, for Njaba local government, and for Ihitubuoma local government, uh, the exercise has been suspended in these local governments indefinitely. Uh, but for the other local governments in Imo state, the exercise will only take place in our state office and the local government offices and henceforth. Mm. Uh, how about some news reports that two, two other INEC staffs are still missing uh, as of the time of those reports? Um, has the situation, is there a, a progress report on that situation? 
Yes, I, I issued a statement uh, early this morning uh, to the effect that uh, we have located those um, uh, two INEX staff that we are missing. Uh, some of them we are, we, are, we, are, we are injured, but they are in stable condition, and uh, very soon uh, they will be united with their families. Uh, okay. So if we are happy to report that we have located the two additional staff that we are earlier missing. So uh, the, the tragedy is uh, limited, mm -hmm. if that is the word to use, um, to just the one deceased. Uh, we, one was fearful that it could have been worse because, as you know, there are some videos online and um, it, they weren't entirely clear. So right now, as you have just uh, advised us, one INEX staff, unfortunately, uh, has been killed. Exactly. And our condolences uh, goes to the... Um uh, to, to the family of the of the of the disease, it's a very unfortunate uh, situation. And this this uh, young man who is serving this country, uh, who is performing a very very fundamental task in trying to make sure uh, that people register to vote, and unfortunately he has lost his life in this particular incident. So our, our, our condolences to the family. I, I am, uh, uh, Mr. Koye. I know we all have to be very careful uh, about you know what we say. We just you can't just uh, talk uh, carelessly, but. Some videos circulating uh, on social media are uh, uh, purportedly depicting the mayhem. Uh, you know, the, the, the hmm. narrator, the, the narrator, the gunman narrator on at least one of those videos, uh, it seems like the whole efforts were towards we don't want any election. We don't want any election. Um, uh, is that any sort of a clue, perhaps? Uh, in the ongoing investigation, which I'm sure is underway. Well, uh, with, with the, this particular incident has been reported to uh, the various security agencies. Uh, the chairman of um, um, uh, the local government was part of those who evacuated the young man uh, uh, who was uh, who was killed to the to the morgue. Uh, so the security agencies have commenced uh, a comprehensive and thorough investigation mm -hmm. into this particular incident and also uh, into the threats uh, that we received in relation to our. Um, <laughs> Our ex the exercise in a him in um, a human by non local government. So I believe that um, they will do a very thorough job so that we can get to the root of this particular incident and also know the way forward. Uh, mm -hmm. Because if you look at the figure of registrations from Imo State, you can see that it is very very low uh, compared to the registration uh, from other parts of, uh, of 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 the country. Uh, so I th I think that it is a very very serious matter and the security agencies should. Uh, as quickly as possible, uh, get to the root of this particular matter mm. and let us have a comprehensive uh, information and also a comprehensive report on okay. what is going on and who is behind all this. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Koye. Um, in studio with me, we've got Dr. Uh, Deji Fulutile and uh, Mr. Chris Paul Otaibe. Now to ask Mr. Otaibe, um, you know, there were all sorts of speculations as to what exactly was going on. Yeah. Uh, as people will talk, uh, but, you know, uh, the opinion is free uh, when they say facts are sacred uh, so you know uh, and that's why we decided to go to the source and find out from Mr. Okoye who yeah. is the National Commissioner Information yeah. and uh, Voter Education uh, and, and you can see that um, you, know, you see the way he's put it um, mm -hmm. uh, this whole thing is against the electoral process Definitely. there are people who don't want Imo State for example let's stay with Imo State and deal yeah. with what's in front of us. That's what the narrator said, we don't want elections anymore. Yeah, so what does that say to you? Well, for me, it's graver than we're looking at it. Um, because what we're used to is holy hoodlums who will invade uh, whatever, the center. And bad as that is. Bad as that is. And would uh, remove the equipment and uh, brutalize some people and they, they're on their way. But here now, that video signals the next level of insecurity, not just for Nigeria, but for our, as a threat to our democracy. That video should not be singled out as just one incident. I listened to uh, Mr. Festus Okoye, uh, what, the, uh, what I never want to do, uh, do about it and all of that. But for me personally as a Nigerian, that's beyond him, where we are today. Because for me, except and until the Commander-in-Chief addresses us on this particular incident, and the officials on people, and Imo State is fortified as an example, I do not see, pardon me, I'm not a prophet of doom, 
I do not see this election coming in 2023. It's success. Why? It's really from the Southeast perspective. Because no Nigerian who would see that video who would want to risk his life to go and register, let alone vote. Because that video, I don't know how you saw it, but yeah, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. I, man, I, I, see, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. So, and yes, a lot of people, they, you know, they, they tell you they are unknown gunmen, but I tell you, a man with a gun is unknown until it's identified. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Indeed. Um, you know, Alabisi, what do you think? Because um, it seems to me like this is the videos that I saw on air. I'm sure you must have seen them as well. You're looking at terrorism here. Um, be, because what else is mm -hmm. terrorism? People were being intimidated. Uh, people were lying on the floor. They had forced people to lie on the floor. They were gallivanting mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. And uh, putting in those words in there that, you know, uh, people have seen the video. I don't want to be repeating uh, yes. some of those odious things that were said on the video. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think uh, that video is just a development over what has been in place. So it's like a, uh, a step further. If you listen to the INEC um, Director of National, Information, National Commission. Yeah, it, it also told us about uh, um, exercises suspended in other local governments in Imo states. For example, in also an Njaba local government area. The, those two local government areas, the exercise has been suspended many months before now. And the reason was due to insecurity. Hmm. So what happened yesterday is just another hmm. development. And you can see that these people are growing bolder day by day. Why? Because uh, they are allowed to operate without any form of check. Now, I want to talk about unknown gunmen. Mm -hmm. Why do you create a mystery oh. around criminality? What do we mean by unknown gunmen? Because the moment you say somebody is unknown, then you give the impression that we can't do much because these people are unknown. Especially if they continue in their ways. Yes. Which criminal is known? When an armed robber Until attacks... Until he's unmasked. Yes. Every criminal is unmasked. Mm -hmm. So it is not the responsibility of our security operatives to unmask these criminals. The more we continue to tag them as unknown gunmen, it's like, in a way, we have given up. We are glorifying them. We are glorifying them. <laughs> and it's a sign of giving up. No, no, like, I, we I, don't I, I, know I don't, them. I, I don't know that we are glorifying them, but perhaps we would appear to be intimidated, intimidated. by them. Intimidated, exactly. That is why I said yeah. we are giving up. We've mm -hmm. already given mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. about them. We've, we've already concluded that we don't know them. And, and because we don't know them, we can't we can do, do much yeah. about, if, if about their activities, which is very sad. Uh, uh, Mr. Koye, I, I would like you to reassure us um, uh, by the, against the backdrop of the sentiment that, look, with this kind of intimidation going on, how can we even sit down here now and begin to say that um, the election, which will be the success that everybody wants it to be? Uh, surely, just give me your perspective, because I'm sure INEC is not going to buy into that particular idea. Well, I, I think that as Nigerians, all of us have um, a, a responsibility to assist the security agencies in degrading uh, the current uh, security challenges um, uh, we have uh, throughout the Federation. It's in the enlightened self-interest of all of us uh, to make sure uh, that the 2023 election holds and that all eligible Nigerians who are interested in registering are registered and that they have an opportunity of exercising their democratic franchise um, in, 20, in 2023. Uh, and I say this against the background of the fact that uh, the Commission is concerned about the the, the security and safety of his ad hoc staff. Uh, during the 2019 election, we deployed over a million ad hoc staff. And that was when we had uh, a, a slightly lower than 120,000 pulling units. Now we have over 176,000 pulling units. Uh, and the implication is that we are going to deploy over a million five hundred 
um, uh, at least 1.5 million um, ad hoc staff for the 2023 election. And so we are concerned about their safety. We are concerned about their security. And then we'll be meeting uh, under the auspices of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security uh, to uh, appraise the security situation in different parts of the country and see in what ways and by, by what means uh, these security challenges um, uh, can, be, can be degraded. And so, so we will continue to consult. We will continue to um, uh, partner with them. We will continue to work with all the security agencies uh, and all the critical stakeholders in this country uh, to make sure that um, we have uh, a, a very conducive atmosphere that will allow voting to take place uh, during the 2023 election. And so it's in our interest because the consequences of the election not holding uh, will be very, very great. It will throw the country into a constitutional crisis uh, uh, which no one can determine uh, how it will end. Uh, so we have to work for peace. We have to continue to work. We have to continue to degrade. And we have to also continue uh, to give the relevant security agencies, the type of information, mm -hmm. the type of actionable information that will enable them uh, to do the right thing at the right time. Okay, then. Uh, one moment while I take Mr. George, who has called in from Ikeja. Good morning, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yori, and uh, I greet all your guests. Thank you. Uncle Yori, uh, I'm going to express my personal views on this matter. What the insecurity in Southeast in particular is the making of the elites in the southeast. Why am I saying this? They, in my view, have been there tolerating the activities of IPOP. They think it is a tool for agitating for the presidency of this country. That's why no governor or political elite in that region ever spoke against IPOP until it's generating up to the level we found ourselves today in the South East. If election, you can see that video. Everything about it is political, that elections will not hold there. Now, the insecurity has gone out of hands in the, in the South East, and even those that propagated it discreetly. They didn't want to show their faces, but we all know there are people behind this voice. And some of them are today asking that uh, the, the IPOP leader should be released with all the things that is committed in that case. So the real truth of the matter is what we should address, not the effects. You have mentioned, Mr. George, uh, sorry for interrupting you. You, you have yes, mentioned, sir. you know, uh, IPOB, uh, but uh, nobody else, because maybe they're trying to be uh, right about how we proceed on this matter, uh, yes. nobody else, uh, you know, has, has mentioned any particular name. So it's like you don't have any evidence one way or the other now before the professionals and specialists get in on the act. You don't have any evidence yes. as to where yes, this I'm came sorry. from. Where? You, you might say so, but we have been watching the trend. We've been watching the trend. Is it not IPOP that has been a tool for political agitation in the Southeast? Is there any, any other organization? That, is, that was what led to the so-called unknown gun that the lady is talking about. They are not unknown. They are known by the people there. All right, then. Okay, Mr. George. <laughs> Your thoughts on that? Because um, the, uh, as he, he did precede all of that by saying that I'm going to express my personal opinion. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, but, you know, specialists, professionals have a way of going about it. Uh, but that's, he's registered his opinion. And the fact is that those gunmen were saying, they were running commentary. And that's another thing. The, who was recording that video? Oh, yeah. And then... And then they released it into mainstream. Yeah. Now, mainstream is reporting based on their, you know. <laughs> yes. yes. I, actually, I don't believe in unknown gunmen because I do not believe that um, the people in the Southeast and our security operatives w do not know this the people behind all these criminal 
assaults. I do not want to have that belief. Mm. Because if we have gotten to that stage, mm. it means that there is no longer hope for us as a nation. And I know we have not got to that stage. Mm -hmm. well, and we will never get to that stage. Let me say in the well, name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now, I want to, you know, Mr. Okoye says something about the elites and everybody working together to ensure that we have an election. That is the point. I think it's a major point because um, we, we cannot all as a society succumb to the will and wishes of criminals. We cannot. The, 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 the implication of not having an election is so grave. Does it not mean that terrorists will be controlling Nigeria from all over? Indeed. Well, you, you, um, you know, you, you had said yeah. you were looking forward to hearing from the commander in chief yes. on, on this whole matter. Definitely. I still stand on that. But let me quickly mm -hmm. talk about the IPOB dimension that uh, we started hearing from the speaker there. You see, look. Okay, the, the caller. Uh, yeah, the caller. Mm. Thank you very much. You know, right now, uh, we are seeing how the elites of the Igbo, the Igbo elites, have shot themselves in the foot. Like the man said, supporting the criminality of IPOP, as it were. Now, what I'm saying, I cannot tell you. you see, that, let, let, let me quickly finish, sir. Sorry, sorry to yes, interrupt you, yes, sir, because sir. I just wanted to say quickly that uh, yes. the elite through the spoke the, through Ohanese in the Igbo uh, have denied that allegation. The leadership of the Igbo race, it could be Ohanese, it could be, you know, I have never seen them come out, you know, to denounce IPOP. Now, let me make a point. I have no issue with the agitation based on what we are experiencing in the country today. But the style, the approach, the strategy is what is faulty. But I can tell you for a fact, it, well, it's my personal opinion, but based on trends, I can tell you here for free that I don't think those unknown government, unknown government are IPOP. They are, what is happening right now... They you are don't playing, think that they are IPOP? I don't believe so. Okay. What is happening right now is false flag at play. Exactly. False flag. Mm. Now they kind of shown that, oh, he's a powerful man, uh, you know, the man who is controlling the South East and he doesn't want his people, and then he's so fiery in his talk. I call him Nambi a Malcolm X misapplied. Do you understand? So now we are seeing the consequence of that. He's not the one behind this, I can tell you. But they are now using his own strategy against him in his name. Okay. That's, uh, well, and again, then, again, these are speculations these that are specu the, security, my personal opinion. the security personnel would have to get to exactly. the bottom of. And, that, uh, by God's grace, as my dancer. Yes, yeah, as, uh, <laughs> as you said. Uh, you see, uh, Mr. Koe, INEC has always, you said they would, and they have always worked with um, all the security uh, organizations and uh, agencies. Uh, I wanted to ask you if uh, there have been meetings since this news, uh, since this incident happened uh, yes, with the security, uh, the whole security, uh, you know, apparatus and what, what are they saying, you know, what are they, what leads are they giving? Well, uh, you know, the, the, this particular incident in relation to Imo State uh, occurred yesterday. Yes. And then uh, we also had got additional information uh, today. Now, you know, uh, before, even before this particular uh, incident, uh, there are so many local governments we have that we call frontline local governments in various states of the Federation, where we suspended completely the issue of uh, voters' registration. And in some of them, we are only doing voters' registration in our state and local government offices. Uh, if you recall, this commission made it very clear that we are going to carry out the, this particular exercise on a rollout and rollback basis that if we roll out and there are challenges and there are problems, we roll back to our state and local government offices. And that's exactly the strategy we have adopted. If you recall, we started this particular exercise uh, on the 28th day of June, 2021. And we, and, uh, we commenced the exercise uh, through our online portal on, 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 on the basis of the level of insecurity in various parts of the country. We met with uh, the Intelligence Consultative Committee on Election Security. We met with the political parties. We met with suicide groups and organizations. And we also met with the media. And the consensus was that as at that particular period, we should not roll out to all parts of the country, that we should only roll out to the state and local government offices of the commission, pending further review and also pending uh, a, a review of the security situation. 
it will not fall met again um, uh, before we devolve to the uh, restoration areas or to the wards. Uh, and we felt that the security situation had improved for us to deploy. But there was also the advice that in some of the frontline local governments, uh, where we have very serious security challenges, that we should remain in our state and local government offices. And uh, so with this new development, with this new escalation, um, I'm sure that the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, who is the chair of the Intelligence Consultative Committee on Election Security, and the National Security Advisor, who is the co-chair, uh, will uh, call an emergency, a, a meeting very, very soon uh, to review this entire scenario and the entire situation, and then advise further on what to do. We're also going to meet with the political parties and civil society groups and organizations to review the situation. Mm. And so in the, in the next um, uh, uh, in, in the next few few weeks, uh, this particular meeting will take place. Okay, then. Um, I think what we'll do before we continue, we'll go to a quick break now so we don't interrupt ourselves at an inconvenient junction. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. We'll continue with this conversation. Uh, Mr. Koye, please stay with us. And um, uh, at home, we'll be expecting to hear from you too. Stay with us. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the um, sad news that um, gunmen killed an INEC official in uh, Imo State uh, during the continuous voter registration exercise uh, is, is what we're talking about. And we have with us Mr. Festus Okoye, INEC National Commissioner, Information and Education. Um, you know, he's reaching us via Zoom. Uh, Mr. Okoye, um, look, people are thinking, what, what, Okay, uh, we'll, we'll have Mr. Okoye soon because as soon as we have Mr. Okoye, I wanted to explore with him what the difficulty is because you saw uh, uh, those videos, those videos that we saw, you saw all INX equipment mm -hmm. trampled, yes, you know, de destroyed, thrown yes. everywhere. Um, first of all, I hope that INEC is adequately insured, insured by finance is what I mean, that they can replace these things. Uh, that so that they can't because evidently they thought that if we can destroy uh, the, the very simplistic idea of, mm -hmm. if we can destroy the equipment of INEC then they won't be able to do their work mm -hmm. then our objective of we don't mm -hmm. want election yeah. here we have be, no, no, it's not, it, it can't be like that I, I, I actually as of May 2021 there were 41 attacks on INEC where uh, 13 vehicles were destroyed over 1000 ballot boxes were destroyed and INEC um, offices were burnt. Yeah, that was in May. Uh, 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 as of May 2021. 21. 2021. So you can now imagine what has happened between then and now. And now. Okay. One moment, please, because Reverend Dominic has come on the line. Good morning, Reverend. Good morning, Yori. I've been here for about two, three minutes. Oh, yes, I'm Yori. So sorry. Sorry about that. So, Yori, please, could you keep me filming in this issue? Please go ahead. Can you? But the reason is that I'm an evil man. I'm from the area where this is happening, and nobody is representing us there. I came from the southeast on Monday. You know, the, the truth is this. We saw this in Anambra State. There are two governors in the southeast. Either is the IPOP, and don't, let not make a mistake, I'm an evil man. I've been fighting this. Either IPOP has been fashionalized in many ways. There's now what I call the armed struggle IPOP. There's now political IPOP. There's now I was in the court in Abuja. So, and which one is in control? In NASA, it's in general, it's uh, in the whole Southeast. These people are in control. That's the governors in Southeast, both in Abia and Imo. On Friday, nobody came out there because the man went to court. They wake up in the morning, they were not locked down. There's nobody comes out. As I drove from Aba, Aba to Wene on Monday, the, the airport I see, I was asking where are we going to go. He said you will not see anybody on the road. And that was truth. From a bar to where we were supposed to be starting at five. Took us 20 minutes because there was no single human being on the road. No government official. There's no governance. They are poor. There's no. And thank God for that madam there. What is unknown government? People doing this is known. There were brothers, sisters, there were uncles. The only thing we have to do is there's no governance in Southeast. And if there's no governance in Southeast, there must be governance in the central. That will take over that if it still belongs to Nigeria. If someone's saying, if that is still to Nigeria, the government in center will work up to the stop that government in Southeast. Because <laughs> Southeast have run away. The people governing Southeast are this type of or not government. They close shop, they open it that way. What will you call that? 
We saw it in Anambra State. In Anambra, we saw less than 200 votes, 1,000 votes. It, it said I have 3 million, or more than 3 million voters. We have 200,000 people. Because nobody came out. What I'm trying to say, Yori, if you can put me here, there's no more governance in Imo. There's no more government in Anambra State. Or other state. The people that govern that place is this government, which is our brothers, which is our sisters. They're not unknown. All right, then. Uh, well, thank you for calling in, Ms. Uh, uh, Reverend uh, Dominic. Uh, Mr. Koe, um, what are the possibilities and challenges of moving as much as possible of the uh, continuous voter registration exercise online? Uh, I, you know, I, I saw INEX equipment vandalized in the video circulating on social media, trampled, kicking things all over the place, printers and all of that. Um, because the argument that often is brought up against electronic voting elect and uh, the electronic process is that, uh, well, too many of our people are not online. But how about the banking? How about mm. the banking? Our banking has gone online, and uh, all the illiterate pepper sellers, granite sellers, as well as uh, the professors, all of them have um, access to uh, their banking through the internet. What, what are the challenges uh, of that possibility? Well, uh, this commission has to serve all Nigerians. Uh, there are Nigerians that are computer literate. There are Nigerians that own uh, uh, smartphones and have gadgets. Uh, there are Nigerians who can do things on their own. The commission opened an online portal through which uh, they can start their uh, pre-registration and then conclude their registration at our uh, state and local government offices uh, by doing their biometrics in terms of their fingerprints and their facials. If you look at the law itself, the law makes it mandatory that every person who is a prospective, a prospective registrant must present himself or herself physically uh, to regist a registration official. And so the online process is a hybrid that enables us to shorten the time uh, uh, of, doing, of doing certain things. But the prospective registrant, by the provisions of the law, must he present himself or herself uh, to a registration officer uh, for the purposes of capturing the fingerprint and the facials of the individual. Now, there are so many Nigerians who live in the rural areas uh, who do not uh, have these facilities. It is those Nigerians that we are registering uh, phys physically, and it is those Nigerians whose uh, registration uh, has been interrupted. Now, the challenge we have, and the biggest challenge we have, is that by the provisions of the law, we must stop the voter registration process, or um, we must stop the continuous voter registration process at a certain point in time, and then integrate the supplementary register that will be produced through this particular process with the main register of voters that has already 84 million registered voters. And then we need to uh, print the permanent voters' cards of all these new registrants, those who have done transfer, those whose uh, PVCs were damaged, uh, or, or those whose PVCs were lost, and then Give, uh, get them to get uh, uh, collect their voters' cards, and then hand over the voters' register that will be used for the 2023 20, uh, election to all the political parties, uh, and then clean up the voters' register and get it ready. Uh, so these things have to be done. Uh, so and we have made it very clear that this process, this continuous voters' registration process, will end on the 30th day of June, uh, 2022 to enable us clean up the voters' register, uh, print the permanent voters' cards of new registrants, and hand over a clean copy of the voters' register uh, to all the political parties uh, that will be contesting this particular election. And uh, so that's part of the challenge we have. But you see, in terms of technology, we are making this uh, very slowly. Uh, we are uh, using technology uh, uh, to do a lot of things now, uh, but uh, we cannot, at this particular mo uh, point in time, uh, um, do all our processes uh, through, through, through technology, okay. because there are so many Nigerians who live in the rural areas who do not have access to these facilities. All right, then. Uh, thank you, Festus. Mazi uh, Okorwafo, uh, thank you for holding on. Go ahead now, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, you see, I would suggest to INEC not to stop that research. Please, if possible, let them send it. Maybe registration to be done in a police station there or area command in that there. Uh, in that vicinity, because what those boys are doing is to prevent people from raising and from not voting. But the question is this the security agencies, the video we have seen, they know that those boys 
that we lie down on the floor and those people that we at least they know the voice of those people who, who you came to do that operation. If they are not from that place, there is need for security agencies to trace those voice. Because security is not something that you just see and just close your eyes. Street investigation can help us trace those boys because it is not healthy. But this is was done in the day and not in the night. Everybody saw everything. But when you see the video, how can you tell people? Look at the criminals being lying down flat because those boys were holding a uh, uh, rifle. And even they don't have rifle, I don't think they can overpower the number of people that want. But the question is this some, some, some criminals or terrorists cannot prevent the state from conducting elections for people going to vote. It cannot happen. How many are there? Don't you have ammunition? Can the government trade those people? It's not hard to trade those things. Because I'm listening to people who can do the job. Because a question of some group of people, and from, I guess when I was watching this, I said, ah, is this a film show or just a, 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 a Nollywood theater? A group of us now, look at the way they were moving majestically. Because they have guns. What type of gun are they holding? Even the, are they holding that gun? If somebody was a, a, a master, it's if I've got all those boys down, but they came there and did a free work and we went away. And we continue to keep I mean, don't run away from going to the reason people want to win the election. Find yeah. another solution on how to track those boys. Because if you don't track them, they will still come back. Oh, look, let us not because of the terrorists, terrorists, what we are we, supposed to do. Uh, they are telling us by next thing we're going for uh, a for, uh, for census. Is that what is going to happen in April 2023? It's not healthy. Because let us call it space. space. We have pre-cases, we have ammunition, we have things to do to fight that criminality. We must. Criminals cannot prevent Nigeria from moving forward. For what? Thank you. Have a day. Very good friend. Indeed. Um, you know, I know, you know, uh, Mr. Okoye is telling us what how INIC operates and it operates within the law. It is not a security outfit mm. or mm. an intelligence outfit, mm. and that's why it works very closely with those people. Um, INIC might have ideas. For instance, Mazi Okora for just brought up one uh, mm. notion uh, mm -hmm. that, look, can it not be some sort of an emergency and mm. move people into police stations or, mm -hmm. or, or military formations? Mm -hmm. Say, let me see anybody that will come, come here. Come. So if this goes back to wanting the commander in chief to say something yeah, yeah. or do something. Well, what are we talking about? These unknown government have been known to attack uh, military formations. It ends out it. Police and what have you. Mm. So you moving people there to go and vote is no so what gives us the impression See, that the military, the uh, police will uh, want uh, them look, to come. Look, to let, let me just say this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are in, so, a, no, we are in no, a precarious no. situation right now. We must recognize until we do, we'll continue to rig Maro. Uh, with due respect to the INEC National Commissioner for Information and Education, yes, that video from yesterday has activated a new conversation on the 2023 election. And it's not something that we must, um, you know, uh, treat as usual. Okay? Because, first of all, let me tell you, you said mention 1.5 ad hoc staff. Ad hoc. Now, they are human beings now. They are NYC, they are from here and there, let me teach them what have you. They are people's children. Are you telling me families will release their children to go and do anything like that in the southeast and, now? And that is exactly the way <laughs> terrorism and terrorists operate. That's the objective. They want to, they want to fight your it's mind. Yes. And parents will say and that I will no tell forbid you, their children from going. I will tell growing. you for free, that video of yesterday has succeeded for now. One moment, please. One moment, yes. please. Uh, if I in uh, or Joe, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yuris. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling. Yeah, good morning to you again, yes. Please, I want to add my voice to this uh, discussion which in the South East. Um, I would like to support uh, what uh, Mr. George had already said. In it should not stop the registration of. Uh, Registration of voters in Southeast. I also want to confirm what some of your guests are saying concerning Igbo elite <coughs> being in support of uh, what is happening in Southeast. I want to tell you that that is not true. I don't know how many of you that follow Governor of Anambra State. 
and the other, including our Hanaita people, and even some of us, even me here, okay? That's not to say that we don't have challenges in South East. We know how some of these things started, you know, from free education, people being killed. Now those people have taken up arms and, you know, we got to this point. So I will advise INEC and the government is to ensure that the INEC officials and the equipment are protected. Okay, but if, if I, if, if I, I beg your pardon, uh, look, the ordinary people, the ordinary citizenry of uh, Anambra, Imo, and what have you, um, I don't know, they, they, they're reluctant to come forward uh, because um, it's like, I'm Robert Nobi Spirito, you know, they, they live next to somebody, people mm -hmm. know them. Uh, so in this case too, people know these actors. Uh, the fact that they are reticent about coming out and speaking to the authorities, it doesn't matter, you might not be an elite, but even non-elites mm -hmm. are, uh, you know, uh, reportedly know who these actors mm -hmm. are, but they've been intimidated into silence is uh, the charge. What, 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 what would you say about that? Well, I'm going to tell you that what is happening in South is, is not as if uh, we cannot, uh, uh, something that we cannot address. Some of those things can be addressed by engaging the ship of business. If actually we say we know them, then there is need for us to engage them, let them know the reason why children continue, they should continue, discontinue with this kind of act. Because I believe that if some of those issues are addressed, then uh, some of these guys will stop this. I think the whole thing is just the state of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria is not working. Okay. If Nigeria, oh. if Nigeria is working, you can see that everywhere, this kind of thing. If Nigeria is working, some of these things will not come up. If Nigeria is a job, some of these things will not come up. So having recognized that, for me, there is need to engage them. To let them know that there is still hope for Nigeria. All right. For me, for me, I'm rooting strongly for a president country to 23. And I'm so much interested in 2023. So, and I want to plead with them to support this my time. Let's ensure that from South East become the next president. Maybe some of these issues that is causing the pressure will be addressed. Thank you very much. Indeed, uh, thank you as well. Uh, I don't know what you know, to say about that. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> you, you know, uh, they, they should be engaged with is what he is oh, saying. Yeah, but, well, but, but on what basis? Uh, 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 and, uh, he seems to, I don't know if he was See, alluding the, the, to the Evander. thing is this, and we have to look at it seriously, please. It's not about uh, engaging anybody. We are talking about security here and safety of lives and property. Do you understand? That is, that is a remit of the state. And if the state allow, no, allows non-state actors to intimidate it, what can the ordinary man do? Yeah, uh, you see, this issue of uh, engaging, 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 we've seen it in different parts of Nigeria. You know, the bandits will tell you that uh, they, didn't, they didn't give them jobs, and that is why they are killing that government should engage them. The terrorists will give you their own uh, reasons mm -hmm. why governments should engage them. Exactly. And uh, you see, of course, one thing I took from uh, his statement is that they are signs of a failed state. Yeah. All these things are signs of a failed state. We shouldn't deceive ourselves. Well, not so much failed as failing. Failing, failing. Well, you know, yeah, failing. maybe, yes. Yeah, not, uh, yeah. It's not failing. I agree. Yeah. It's not, it's it's not failing, uh, well, maybe which is an opinion, it is, uh, but it then is. it shows you it can be nipped Something in the bud. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something mm. is wrong with our unity or with the way we perceive our unity and existence, you know. That is why we are having these different kinds of agitations from all over and across the country. Of course, we need to talk about our problems, mm -hmm. discuss our challenges, mm -hmm. but in doing that, we also need to tackle criminality. Indeed. I mean, we the, need to tackle there's, criminality. There's no we cannot, on we that. cannot I, negotiate I, with criminals. Let, let me tell you, we have been minimized. Uh, okay. Tommy to Singh has called okay. in from the UK. Um, good morning, Tommy Singh. Good morning, Uncle Yuri. Thank you for calling in. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, yes, please, I just want to quickly contribute here. 
um, you see what is going on from Imo State. I'm from Imo State. <clears throat> I'm from Ogure. In Imo State. This is my area. That's right. Now, what is going on in Imo State is known. There is nothing like IPOB. This is how they are doing. They will put people's face to look at IPOB. It has nothing to do with IPOB. I just came back from Nigeria. I spent six months. And there I did. So it has nothing to do with IPOB. Okay, Uri, <clears throat> let me tell you something. When they had the prison break in Oweri, they struck away. Do you know that some of them voluntarily came back? Hmm. Did they make attempts to interview this, those ones that came back to the prison? Did they make any attempt to interview them and ask them who broke that prison? How and who did that and what transpired? They, 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 they need to go and ask that four of my cousins were involved, and I talked with them. So it has nothing to do with IPOB. The government is aware of what is going on. The government of Imo State, they are aware of what is going on. It's between them. They are the ones acting all this movie. IPOB don't have this kind of power, Uncle Yuri. This is my place. I'm coming from there. I will want forward. If you hear my sentence, you will know. And from there, it has nothing to do with IPOB. I have about 12 of my cousins who are members of IPOB. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with this. Even they stay at home, Uncle Yuri. This, uh, sorry, yeah, stay at home. Do you know that police stations, they stay at home as well? Police stations. <laughs> I have to be. Big, big police stations <laughs> in the most, you know what In the most, yes, every Monday. Police stay at home every Monday. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with IPOB. Okay. They well, couldn't thank know if they even even the video that they are parade, if they want to catch those people, they know where those people are living. Yes. Yeah. They know it's That's how it's it will be. It's okay. government people. Yeah. <laughs> I want to so thank you. Very easy. Even myself sitting here, yes. I'm calling you from London. I can get those people for you. Wow. <laughs> they come let you know. They know it's not ah. IPOD. It's yeah. Not um, thank you very much for calling in. <laughs> you know, we really appreciate your call because there's a wow. sense in which we hear similar things in relation to Boko Haram. Yes. So, yeah. you know, Boko Haram is no secret. They know. They now, know. here, we, our caller is saying that. Um, it has, you know, that's why I said, you can't just jump and say it was IPOB. Yes, You, you exactly. don't know for sure. I no. said you, you might say what you like at your pepper soup joint. flag mm. is but, a play here. But in terms mm. of professional fa yes. findings, yes. we have to wait on the authorities to tell us who is behind this. Well, and that gentleman was saying that, I think he was saying that, sincerity is involved here. How mm -hmm. sincere mm -hmm. are the efforts to unravel all of this? And look, yesterday, check out. Now, we are talking about Southeast here. With people who are more obeying in their minds, right? That place where that thing happened has neighborhoods. Those people have folks. Are you following me? Not far from there, you have military, yes. you have security. So, Why can't you have gunshots? That's what Tomisi was saying. So, you see. All of that is what he was saying. There is conspiracy well, uh, about so Mr. Many things Mi there. Mr. Festus Okoye, um, I, I want to thank you very much for making time for us this morning and setting us, you know, at least where. where INEC is on all of this. Uh, the most important thing is the successful uh, conduct of the 2023 election. And um, I, I think um, all Nigerians wish INEC well because we know that INEC is going to give it all that it's got. Uh, as of now, just to recap, in IMO, uh, as we go away, in IMO, you, you suspended the exercise, the continuous voters registration exercise in, a, is it just the one local government area? Mm -hmm. and? Or it will continue in all others? Uh, no, as a, as a today, we suspended the uh, CVR indefinitely in three local governments of Imo State. Okay. And okay. that is us local governments, Njaba local governments, and Ihitu Boma local government. In every other local government in Imo State, the exercise will take place only in the states office of the commission and in all the local government areas. It will no longer take place in the 54 centers that we created. Okay. Uh, so that is the situation as of today. And I want to thank you very much, Festus. Mr. Festus Okoye, INEC National Commissioner, Information and Voter Education, for making for time for us this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. So um, I want to thank you too, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Olabisi Deji Fulutile journalist, editor-in-chief, uh, 
franktalknow.com and uh, Mr. Chris Paul Otaibe, journalist and social commentator. Thank of you course, there's much. a lot more we could say about this, uh, but we just have to wait and let this whole thing unravel itself. That's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Fulani. No, one day, Monday, Monday. I'm Yori Fulani. Bye-bye for now.